Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Carolyn Cooks. So we've been getting lots of requests for desserts. So today we've decided to prepare a cheesecake with a sponge cake crust. We're getting some background noise because we have some work going on around the house. So I'm gonna have to do voiceover for the rest of the video. So let's get to the video. We'll be starting with our sponge cake crust. And we're gonna go ahead and sift the flour, baking powder, and the salt in a small bowl and set it aside. And you can also go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees, butter your spring foam pan, the sides and the bottom generous, generously. Also wrap the outside of your pan with aluminum foil coming up to the sides. We also had went ahead and separated our three eggs, the egg yolks from the whites. And with the electric mixer, we're going to apply one egg yolk at a time and then slowly add in our sugar. We're trying to get the thickness of the egg yolks to look like um, yellow ribbons forming. And then we're going to beat in our extract. I was having some difficulty obtaining that because it was just a few egg yolks in such a big mixer so i went ahead and i took it off the big mixer and i used my hand mixer so that i can make sure to get the thickness of the egg yolks and there you have it that is exactly what you're hoping for yours to look like now you're going to go ahead and add in your extract and let that beat for a minute or so and do, not to worry guys i'm gonna have everything in the description box below the entire recipe and you'll be able to follow along with that very nicely the sifted flour mixture we had waiting on the side we're gonna go ahead and incorporate that right now into the mixture by hand folding it all in making sure you can barely see any white specks in there Once you're good with that, you're gonna go ahead and add in your melted butter and mix that in also. Now we're gonna go ahead and place this on the side and we're gonna turn our attention to the egg whites. Now in a clean mixing bowl, you're gonna place the egg whites and the cream of tartar in the mixer and put it on high until frothy. Once it starts to froth, you're going to go on and add your remaining sugar in there and continue to beat until you see stiff peaks. Again, I was having the same problem obtaining the peaks with such a large mixer a little bit of egg whites so I transferred it to my hand mixer and I continued to beat it until I think I had a little bit of fat in my bowl for some reason it wasn't getting stiff enough as I would like it to be okay guys we're gonna go ahead and fold in the egg white mixture into the flour mixture a third at a time gently fold it in do not stir until you no longer see any white streak and then you're gonna go ahead and continue with the remaining thirds Now once everything has been mixed together, we're going to go ahead and place it in our prepared baking pan and place it on a sheet pan, pour some hot water in the sheet pan, bring it up to the sides and put it in our preheated oven. Yeah. 
This should take roughly 10 to 12 minutes in the oven. I will say make sure to keep an eye on it. You do not want the top to get brown and you just need it to spring back when you touch it or you can insert a toothpick. But just to the feel the touch, when you touch it, it's going to be like a little um, sponge spring back and that's how you know it's done. So you're gonna place it on a cooling rack and then start on your cheesecake mixture. So here we go. This is exactly what you're looking for. You see that touch? So that's ready. Do not remove it from the pan. And we're gonna go ahead, put that to the side and start on our cream cheese mixture. So these are all the ingredients we'll be using. Again, everything is in the description box below. So let's get to mixing. We'll start off with room temperature cream cheese one at a time and our cornstarch in the mixer with a third of the a cup of sugar. You're gonna mix that until creamy and soft before we start to add in the remainder cream cheese one at a time. Before you add another one in, always scrape down the sides of your bowl before each addition. So once all the cream cheese are in, we're gonna go ahead, scrape down our bowl sides and add in our vanilla extract. Beat that for a minute and then you're gonna continue to add in your remaining sugar and your eggs. You're gonna blend in your eggs one at a time. I know you were saying, I didn't see her put in the sugar but guess what guys, I think I deleted that footage by mistake, cannot locate it. But just remember to add in your remaining sugar when after you add in your vanilla extract and before you add in your eggs. After everything is nicely blended last but not least we are going to add in our heavy cream just until mix do not over mix this so on medium low you blend it in just for roughly 30 seconds once it's incorporated that's it you turn it off we're done The crust is ready. It's all cooled down to room temperature. Our cream cheese batter is ready. We're gonna place that on top of there. And it's time to bake. So creamy, delicious. Mm. I have went ahead and made a strawberry compote to go with it. No, I didn't prepare a recipe for that. It's very simple. Fresh strawberries, vanilla extract, and some sugar 
in a saucepan on the stove top and that's it um, you can simmer it down to the consistency you like if you want it thicker or not and and then I just garnished it with a piece of mint leaf but let's get back to the cheesecake so now in the oven it goes in a sheet pan and I'm placing hot water in the sheet pan I'm gonna bake this on 350 for roughly and one hour 20 minutes the give and take on your heat in your oven now this is the finished product wasn't trying to get it brown and definitely don't want to have any cracks but we still accomplished something really nice I would have definitely left it in a little longer but my kids were hounding me oh my god they just wanted their cheesecake they loved it it was great and it's night I had it setting in the refrigerator for about three hours they didn't want to wait any longer again I would have let it set for maybe another hour or so I like it to set four hours and longer but they're ready to be served so here we go hope you guys enjoy 